today. Miss Donetta. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> hey TV. Hey How chat. You, you see what I'm dealing with. I knew he would cheat. I said Dave would cheat on that girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous right now, y'all. This is my first time calling in. And uh I said I wasn't gonna call in because I'm shy, but here I am. So what's up? I got a I got a question. Huh? Now, are you are you a driver or are you the stay at home wife? I'm a driver. You're a driver, so yeah, you, I've been driving for four years. Four years. Do you think your dude at the house is cheating? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, before I, before I started driving, um, we got you know we got married and everything, and we both had got our CDLs and started team driving, but. Um, he called himself, couldn't stay on the truck with me 24 seven. And so we separated, got on different trucks, you know, and that was kind of weird. But then um, he lost his CDLs for um, doing drugs, oh. right? <laughs> and so he had to kind of get, you know, stay at home, but I was not about to stop driving. And so I was on a, a route to where I'm home every other night, right? Mm. So I'm thinking that's cool. And then um, one one day I I'm at home and I get up like three in the morning and I'm on my way downstairs and I hear him on the phone. I'm like, hmm, who who are you talking to? You know, he he sees me. He's intoxicated, by the way. He hurry up and hang up the phone. The girl calls back. I pick up. She was like, oh, I know where you live and everything. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what y'all do? <laughs> you know, stupid question. But she's like, what? We f and I'm like, oh my God. You know, Hello, was he so, in the house now? In, in my house that I got for him and his son. Oh my God, bro. Yeah, 10 years. And so he he's intoxicated. And I'm asking him questions and he's not holding back. He's telling me where, how, why, you know, everything. Oh and so God. it's just like, wow, that is the most devastating news that anybody could hear. So yeah, I know that driving is. trucks, That's yeah, crazy. driving trucks, it's a different lifestyle than, you know, not driving trucks. And you can't really put the two together unless it's an understanding, you know? But he knew. Why well, the heck did he understand? <laughs> yeah, he should have been down for the calls, bro, because he was doing it. But see, uh, there's a few, there's a few red flags, if I may, right here. First of all, if your old lady a better trucker than you, hmm. she need to get rid of you. If she can yeah. drive a drive shift better than you, if she can handle her license and keep it better than you, you got less responsibilities than him, and he still couldn't keep his license. I think you really exactly. Did. Yeah, come to find out, um, he was in competition with me. Like he was, he was jealous that I was able to continue driving and, you know, save up money and purchase homes and things of that nature. And I'm like, you shouldn't be jealous of me. We're supposed to be doing this as a team. Yeah, I'm giving it to you. I'm getting the crib for you. <laughs> right. So I guess it turned into more of um, resent. He resented you. Yeah, pretty much. And that's what um, a lot of us women out here who are driving trucks and, you know, these men look at us as independent women. And, you know, they feel like they don't have to do that much work because, you know, we got the finances coming in. You know, we don't have to make sure we got the money because we know she got it, you know, stuff like that. And it takes the responsibility of a man away from them that's what i think some man yeah, feels like so my old lady got a license and oh uh, it never took my responsibility away like if she's you know she can we both can drive she right. has an excellent record i have an excellent record i didn't lose my license she didn't lose her license you right I mean? y'all like, work as a team we work as a team so my thing is knowing that now would you prefer to have like if 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 it presented itself to you where you could have someone on a truck and he because that whole I can't see you every day shit that'd have been it for me. Yeah, I want my old lady on truck me every day. <laughs> so and wait, you don't believe in you don't believe in uh, people needing a little space apart, no. being up on each other every single day, twenty four seven. 
Because you dog. know, if if you're not driving trucks and you're at home, you both leave to go to work, but then you come home, you know, that night. Yeah, that's but, all cute and dandy, Danetta, but <laughs> ain't you stay on troll me. I don't play that shit. We yeah. Dead. And then and yeah. you need some time, you can go to the movies for two hours or something, but that's about it. Right. You and it better about it that be a movie I want to see because I'm coming. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> that's some shit they push on us. I'll give you a perfect example. Your grandma and granddaddy back in the day didn't believe in that. Hmm. They matter of fact, they shared one house line. Yeah, that's true. That was it. It, it was and all this. Oh, I need space for what? If we have a goal, the goal is so high that there is no time for that. We together. If we together, mm-hmm. we will be together. That's true. That's absolutely true. I mean, and, and it got to be you got to be on the same blueprint. Like, you know, I think I I had a I was creating a blueprint unknowingly, unwillingly, you know, because he didn't have one. And so it's like he kind of had to fall on mine. And so I I think it made him feel less of a man because I when I bought a house, oh, but this isn't really my house because you bought it. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? So I don't know. That's, That's my strange. experience, TV man. Yeah, he he's a different man, kind of you, person. But you need, you need to pick up another driver, man, because there's dudes out there watching that be like, mm-hmm. man, I sit on a truck. It's your shit. What I'm getting off of? I can't. You know good be I don't see. Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm saying. People, when we, when he starts talking about a driver, he has to wipe with you, bro. You lucky, you know, that's that nature. So I'm just all like, well, what's wrong? What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? And so I don't know. But being out here, it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, being out here is is like you see drivers and things of that nature, but the the men drivers don't really kind of pay attention if I'm not out here in hoochie shorts and all this makeup and weaves and stuff like here out. If I'm out here in just some regular work clothes and stuff like that, like the men don't look my way and stuff. So it's it's not that easy as oh, it's women drivers out here and y'all men see them and stuff like that. They look past us when we're dressed normal. <laughs> Well, a lot, a lot of that is that it's become so inappropriate to come on to y'all. You see what I'm saying? It's so inappropriate that it don't matter if you are at a club, men are not really trying to come on because they done made it so inappropriate to come on to y'all. Like I remember this one girl I was trying to help. She was struggling, you know, with the, um, the landing gear. So I walk up on her, come from get my paperwork. And I, before I could even say anything, she was like, no, you can't have my number. Like, she just went off. <laughs> oh, wow. Brody, you are struggling right now. I was just going to do your little land <laughs> again for you. Yeah. So that I can see that. For a while. Like, oh, I can't walk up. You know what I'm saying? I can't. It ain't. It is not appropriate to walk up to you while you're at work. So right. You have to give me. You have to give me some eye signals. So, Danetta, if we both had the truck stop, right? I'm fueling. And you fueling. You gonna have to like look past your pump and give me the eye, like for me to say something. Right. Like, hey, <laughs> That's bro. scary. It shouldn't be like that. What you? It shouldn't. But the, the, I can't just walk up to you and you gonna be like, "Oh, creep! Look at this dude all over." Me. <laughs> What's going on? You, you know don't know what to expect. You don't know what to expect. So you kind of just gotta. You don't gotta give like an obvious eye, but you gotta give like a lingering eye. Like if you were to say something to me, I give you my number. Like you gotta give me something. I'm going in a tunnel TV. TV, so if it goes out, then you can let the lens call her in. Oh, but I'm gonna still fun. talk. Oh, yeah, don't want out on you. Damn, bro. Dave, it's bad out here, bro. <laughs> I mean, yep. homie lost the license, bro. Yeah, man, doing them drugs. You always say stay away from them drugs. He couldn't do it, man. Most, a lot of drivers can't do it. I don't understand well, I why it's so hard to stay away from the drugs, bro. Man, losing them CDLs, man. They want to go back and work at the warehouse. That's all it is. That's I it. mean, <laughs> you had a chick on the truck with you. With you. You didn't have to oh, worry man. about cheating or nothing. She right there. Man, I, that truck there. would have been rocking, and we would have been making money. <laughs> That's like, I don't get it. Like, most chick, like my chick that I'm with now, she won't eat. She ain't even interested in it. Like, uh, 
I'm like, get your CDL, come out with me. She's like, nah, but to have a chick that's down to be in the truck and y'all could just go and you ain't got to worry about coming back to the house, you yeah. know, ever. You could come back. Hey, we could stay gone four months pretty much on the damn vacation and then go back to the house. Like, just to check up on stuff. But I don't know. Some cats be having it. They be having it. Why she ain't interested in doing it? What, what, what? She make more money than me. Oh yeah, you don't mess. She yeah. don't slip. She ain't about to go through all that pain, and she already uh-uh. get money, bro. Yeah, she she get uh mental health days and all that at her job. I don't so get none of that question over. Is why you ain't went home is the question. She don't flip it on you. Yeah, man. That when we went home, man, I, I like what I I love what I do. I've always loved what I do, so I ain't changing home. it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to be up in that office all day dealing with them folks, man. <laughs> Telling me what to do. What you say, sweeping the wa- the warehouse floor with a CDL? I ain't on that, brother. I'm good. Y'all can have all that. <laughs> so you trying to tell me you got a kid crib making big money? Yeah. You ain't going I'm gonna drive this truck, TB. <laughs> I'm gonna, Damn. I'm enjoying this OTR lifestyle. I, I love it. You know, I get through the house, but she understand though. She understand this is what I love to do. So she ain't going to get in the way of that. And she busy, too. She got shit to do. Yeah, she, she got show. real work. Yeah, she get, she bring work home. So, yeah. So. Yeah, you just got to keep, keep focus on her, bro. You got to make sure she knows she important, bro. That's one thing I told yeah, her. Yeah, she, I don't yeah. do that. I don't act like you're not important to me. I don't I don't play that game. Mm-mm, nah, that's most important. Outside of this truck, when I get out this truck, yeah, that's the most important thing to me outside of what I'm doing now. Like, my family and my children. So yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah that's that's what we out here for though, ain't it? Or we you know, but you say they be out here buying cars, you know, just to get a hellcat, you know, overpriced clothes and stuff. Like I don't get that, but you got beef hey. in the streets, bro. Princess A G <laughs> says, Are you cheating on this one? Mm. Mm-mm. No, I ain't doing that. I can't have no level of redemption. I can't change. <laughs> I mean, she asked you. You did change. She asked you. No, I, I've changed. Yeah, I've changed. I'm a better man now. Like, it, you you, gonna, you will eventually get tired of grenading your family just to get some outside cheeks. When you got cheeks at the house, man, just, just, just take care of that home. What's in that house, man? I, yeah. I haven't done that. I've been in situations where I haven't done that. So, yeah, you're going to keep grenading your family, ruin your life, having to meet, go through meeting a new girl and Doing that all over again, you might as well. If you got a good one, stick with her. Like, you got a woman willing to get in the truck with you and work with you, stick with her. Like, stay with her. I Them the guys I really don't understand. You cheating on a woman that got her CDL and she got you a crib? Boy, you, yeah, man. Yeah, you lost, bro. You, you lost, lost out here, boy. Yeah, wasting your you time. You a crib, bro, and you, you done did that, bro. You lost, yeah, my guy. Yeah, man, and, and and this guy's like that. That you know, she probably find it hard to do it for the next man. And she coming to his life, she uh, she gonna come in with a level of distrust. So you, the next man gonna have to fix all it. Man, if I lost my CDL and I was on the net of truck, I'd have told her, "Look, we gonna go oversize. I'm gonna do all the back trailer work, and you drive." Yeah, man. Most men got too much pride for that. You a good dude, man. See, most men ain't got they ain't got that. Like, man, look, you got the CDL. Let me get through this SAP program and get back behind the wheel. Right. And I'm going to help. Yeah, like, they don't. Or, or go to the crib and it, it just go do something that, you know, go to the crib and, and make money while you're getting through the SAP situation so you can get back in the seat, man. Right. But I don't get it, though. I, no, I don't get no. that. They're not going to do that, bro. Like, that that's the truth. They're not, they not going to handle business in that way because most people, like I tell them, they childish and they believe that running the streets is the best thing in the world. But I be trying to tell them these streets is treacherous, bro. This yeah, is man. not a time to be in the streets, bro. I heard they got like two and three for ones. You can get two, three for one uh, diseases just by, you know, That's playing it. in the street. They just, it's just <laughs> a roll of the dice and it's like purple synagonorrhea immediately. Yeah. Or, or look at the freaking numbers yeah, in Houston, bro. It's like, yo. You can't do that. Yeah, and then you I got like with her, she like she got money. Like she she gonna bring it in. She get in the bag. Like I, I don't get that, man. Like I ain't messing up with the woman that I'm with now, but I don't get how a woman could, you know, 
produce that much and show you that much in that many ways, like, hey, I'm here. I got your back. And you still right. kind of just stab in the back. That show that say more about you as a man than it do it. Yeah, I mean, woman, I, couldn't, man. Like, I couldn't be your homeboy for real. Because if you do that to somebody doing that to you, you you definitely stab me in the back, bro. Yeah, man, you definitely. you 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 take my still hunt my sister if you would do some stuff like that, man. You know, like if you that type of dude. Bread. I don't know. And she still got wear the little freaky shit for you. She still wear makeup and all the freaky shit you like. And you you man. messed it up because you mad at yourself. You mess your yeah. license up, and you gonna mess it up because you mess it up. How you gonna be mad at me? I ain't messing my life. You did that. I was dealing with a chick that left me because I lost my like. I, I went through a position where I lost my job. She left me for that. Like, so it should let you know, like, she's staying. Even with the CDL situation, like you, see what I'm saying you lost your CDL, but she ain't be like, oh, you, I ain't dealing with you no more. She's gonna like, let's work this out. Go to the crib. Let's. I'm gonna get you in somewhere where you can like. She found a way for you, man. So that that let you know what yeah. quality or what level of certain what dudes be at. That's where they yeah. be if they don't. You a child, bro, and and that's what I tell people is like, dog, man. I don't even play like that. Dog. It's like it's too much in the it's too much in the street for me. And you know, I watch my my parents, my stepfather, my mom be together, and I just feel like I just feel like this. You don't need a partner. Shit is whack, man. Like, who the fuck won't be running around this joint alone all the time? Ain't got no butt you can hit. Nope. I lose some money. Can't can't help me on the rent at all. You can't, hey man, cover my insurance for me real quick because I'm doing bad. You can't, you just alone mm-hmm. and be swinging in the dark. You, you jumping for chick to chick, man. And I ain't gonna lie, man. That shit, this is gonna cost you. That's gonna cost you some money, man. Just being free and, man, you will spend so, that money getting them hotel rooms. Constantly jumping in rental cars, man. You, man, I, I, the year I, I think I cheated the most. I, I grossed at the company that I was working with like one seventy five. I spent all of it just chasing that, going out, doing this, doing that, doing this, running behind chicks. I got seven, eight, nine, ten chick here, chick there, chick in Texas, in St. Louis. Like you know, I'm from St. Mm-hmm. Louis, so. Yeah, you will blow your money and you will be broke and you will be yeah, one of these cats online. Or to, fa- to facilitate the meetup costs money. Yeah. It all costs money. I mean, yeah. some dudes just enter that, but it's like, bro, at what point does it get old? Like, I mean, at what co- it get old? They just ain't had enough of it yet. It get old. Yeah, it's like you are gonna start hearing the same excuses. You are gonna start seeing the same positions, the same tattoos. You gonna start go meeting the same people. woman over and over. And you're gonna keep meeting the same woman. I think they don't understand it. You're gonna keep meeting the same type of woman. You, you're just gonna keep over meeting her over and over and over, just different versions, different variants. That's why I say, bro, it's like I'm I'm Gucci, man. All the whole weave and make I don't like weave and makeup anyway. So it's like that ain't gonna attract me. Weave and makeup is yeah. gonna turn me the fuck off. I'm not interested in none of that. I don't like my old lady to have blonde hair or none of that shit. No, I, like, I, I like a regular black earth woman you know what i'm saying i don't i don't need nothing synthetic i don't need you to uh i don't need you to be going out like that because i don't go out like that i don't drink mm-hmm. you can drink but i don't drink you yeah so i feel I you just, on that i don't either i don't do I, that neither so. especially when you trucking when you're driving trucks you're gonna stop drinking anyway because you, you can't drink that much so you're gonna lose a taste for it i thought you weren't even supposed to have it the law said you ain't even supposed to have that stuff on the truck you're not but dudes get caught with it every day <laughs> It's slow, special. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They get caught with it every day, and it's like, bro, was it worth that much for that? Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's what I tell you. If you go out on the road for thirty days and you have to have a drink within that time, you got a problem. Yeah, you do definitely, man. You got man. I spent so much time out here, man. It, it, the job takes all of your attention, so I don't even get why you trying to. You know, I get every like everybody has their thing or something that they do, but I. I them two things don't match. Drugs and eighteen wheelers don't match. Yeah, drugs, alcohol, drugs, and alcohol. Yeah, no, they don't they match. They really don't. You you gonna have mm-hmm. to find other ways to. That's why I say, how are you in a truck? You're not learning nothing. You're not you're not picking up a hobby. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you're driving the most beautiful places in the in the in the country. Y'all ain't got no camera. I like, I can look at them motherfucker and tell them they ain't they ain't got nothing to them. I got DSLRs. You ain't got no camera set up. You flying around eagles and condors and shit in L.A. You ain't got no no cameras. You ain't got no. You hobbies. up in the mountains. You walk in the mountains. like you up in the mount. You you up like by 
was it the Hood River? That is like the most beautiful place. Like you don't, right. you ain't taking footage of none of this stuff. None you just they so you they don't know. even stop. They just on the truck. They just on the truck, just driving and going from vagina to vagina, losing their money. And to me, yep. it's just it's just it, a while it gets stupid. My thing was when I was free and willing to be, you know, <laughs> chicks was getting me hotels, but I won't spend that kind of money like that. They was like, oh, I want to see you, so I'm I'm about to come get you from the truck stop and get you a hotel. Like it was, but I've always gone at a different level of female because of my the level of my conversation. That you one of them you, ones, TB. You one of them ones. Yeah. And I hate to say it, but it's facts. When you talk to me, you know from jump, I'm not with no cooning. That's another thing too, because I I will not hit some coochie if you're a coon. I don't play that okay. shit. Okay. So if you a jigaboo, and you come up to me with a lace front, it's not gonna happen. Not going. Yeah, uh, if yeah. you come up to me too in the fashion, if you're too in the fashion, it's gonna turn me off. I don't. I don't want to see you with like freaking you know Louis Vuitton slippers on. I think that's so disgusting, bro. It's just disgusting because it's like, who you doing that for? We drive trucks. Right? What we doing that for? I be seeing them at the truck stop. They be boy. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Looking, you know, like they in a rap video, yeah. necklace, chains on. I will be like, bro, this ain't even that, man. <laughs> this, it ain't it's not no that. reason for that, bro. You should be in something comfortable. Yes, sir. And we we know that fashion stuff ain't really built for comfort. Mm -mm. What are you talking about you in Dior thousand dollar Versace sneakers at the Fuel Island, bro? Why? Step, stepping in diesel and DEF in them. Like, I mean, if you got it, you got it. But right. I don't be one of them cats that look like that and do all that complaining about how it ain't no money out here. When right. it's money out here, you just ain't you just ain't good with managing it. Yeah, you misappropriate funds. That's what yeah, you're doing. Man. It don't run into the crib every weekends. If you in the lease, if you a lease operator, I don't want to hear nothing about no off days and oh, I'm trying to get back to the crib. You running a business player? Are you yeah. wasting going to the crib? You wasting time and money, <laughs> and you making your business operate in the red. On top of that, like starting right. your week just to get some off time to starting the negative is crazy, man. I, I don't get that. Yeah, it just don't make, it don't make sense. It don't yeah. and everybody tried it for a couple and realize once you get burnt and realize you stop. Some people just don't learn, bro. They just do you gotta stop, man. You gotta stop blowing your money on this stuff that ain't in fashion next year. You're gonna have to pick a style and stick with it. That's why all your uncles was out of style to you. Because they picked the style and they stuck with it. Because they knew I'm not about to keep blowing all my hard earned money on this shit. So now your uncle what? just pull up in work boots and, and jeans and he said, This is what he wear. That's it. Why well, wear these shirts and, and these uh, dicky pants? And I'm gonna drive this truck and this stuff. And when and when I do get off the road, then yeah, I got some stuff at home where I can change. I wouldn't even want to have that stuff with me, man. This right. I, I, you you forever outside in this truck. I don't care how good you sealed up in this truck. <laughs> Your clothes gonna get dirty. You swinging the doors open. Yeah. So I wouldn't even want to have that type of stuff with me on this truck, man. Grease. Oh my man. god, that fifth wheel grease will ruin some clothes, bro. Or sliding against a trailer, ripping shirts up. Like, I done did Flawed. that too, man. That's a big one. Yeah. That's that flatbed. You will tear some stuff up in flatbed. That's a yeah. what I mean. Yeah, man. I ain't no flatbed guy. I'm in refrigeration, so, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm about to go back into refrigeration, man, because, you know, I just I just feel like I don't, all the other ones, when you got to do something on the back of the truck, they be limiting my range. And I be wanting to see mm -hmm. certain places. And they be like, man, we don't go nowhere else. Nah, it's the whole place we go. Like, man, this our triangle. Yeah, I, I want to see Seattle and Portland, and uh, you know, I want to see Vermont, bro. I want to see some shit. It's getting old, bro. Like, I see the same shit, bro. It's just the worst, bro. Yeah, I do. I stay. I pretty much stay like in the Midwest, in the East, and yeah, I'm sick of it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm sick of doing the same thing, but I ain't sick of this money. I'm gonna keep running no. this truck until until it run. I run it into the ground. Yeah, I mean, if it's working for you financially, you do what you had to do. But me, uh, like I told people. It depends on how long you can get money. I've been getting money for years. It don't do, mm -hmm. yeah, money. I, I'll say to say money don't do what it used to to me. Mm -hmm. It's like I'll I need it, TB. I need a different kind of money. Right. It would have to be life changing level. But if I'm driving a truck and get thirty five hundred dollars, that don't feel out of place to me. It's yeah, like that's normal. Shit. That's not. That's not. I don't even need that no more. If the it's now when I look at a job, it's comfort. Where is it going? Is there a camera pointing at me? You know, does it have a does it have an APU? And that's yeah, it. Refrigerator. 
I need. I, I want a refrigerator. I want to be able to put hook hook up my microwave. I, yeah. So you you look for those start certain things. Yeah, I, I can see that you want certain things in your unit. Right. But like with me, I, I like I said, it, it, it's catered. My situation is catered to me. Like everything is different for everybody. It might what work for me not work might not work for the next person. Yeah, but, it depends on where you at in your life. That's why when you see them old heads being there and those are the cats with the money, bro. They just yeah. stop because because they it's not that they're getting more money, they stop giving the money out. There you go. They stop yeah. giving it away. Man, man. They get to a point where we you know, my uncle used to pull up, he had a square front Oldsmobile, bro. I mean, it had the squeakiest startup, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And then after maybe like two feet, then the belt will catch. And I used to ask, I was like, oh, why don't you get a new car? And he said, explain to me why I need a new car. And I said, oh, well, you know, it won't make that noise. He was like, man, this car gets me to work, home, and to some pussy. There you he go. said, that is all I need a car for. As yeah, long, the recipe. Yeah, as long, he said, as long as it cuts on. I ain't getting rid of it. And if it breaks down and I can afford to fix it, I'll fix it before I buy a new car. I said, well, the engine's going to blow. He said, an engine is cheaper than a new car. Smart that's, man. That's crazy work. Because when you think about it, it's like, like my minivan, I looked up how much an engine would cost. $1,500. $1,500. I can get my boy to put it in for like five. So I can have a new, a brand new, I'll have a newish engine for $2,500. But if I try to go get this same van, the brand new one is 60 grand. Yep. So you have to everything it, right now. Right. Mm. And the loans are too expensive. Is, uh, I'm not paying a thousand, twelve hundred dollars a month for nothing. I'm sorry. No, I can't do it. It's just, it mm. just not worth it, bro. That's why when you get a chick that don't care, she just wants you to come home, beat the guts and play kiss and faith. Go home and play kissy face, bro. Just get get out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. That's all she wanted. That's all she demanded and asking for you. I mean, we we making the money, so let's go on in the house and do right. It ain't hard. Uh, I, I know it's me talking about, you know, saying these things. I know I haven't lived my life that way for a long period of time. But, yeah, man, go in the house and do what's right, man. Don't don't waste your money. Don't get have a whole bunch of kids out here running it up with child support. Then you, then you, you were part of the the woman hater club because they out here you done did this to yourself, and they just don't want what they want, man. They want you to take care of your child. Period. Mm. We ain't there no way. That's the, the the money is the least you could do. You could give them some money. You ain't there no way. A phone call ain't nothing, man. That don't matter. That don't matter. Yeah, I mean that's real shit, bro. You, at least you could do is you know keep a job. Pay what you got to pay and go from there. But I appreciate you, Dave. No one ever said nah, the no cash So I got, I got to go. We about to hit two hours, bro. I got to get out of here. I, I got you, big dog. Have a good day, brother. Stay up.